This is the first optimization problem. Uh, the problem is, you are given 100 feet of fence, and you are going to build a rectangular pen. Um, you can make it, a, you're constrained by the 100 feet, and you can make these various shapes. What you want to do is, what shape is going to have the maximum area for the pen? So if you only have 100 feet, what's the largest pen that you can make? So you got to set it up. Uh, usually it comes down to drawing a picture. So you're going to make a rectangular pen, draw it out as a rectangle. And once you've got that thing, you say, okay, this is going to be my pen. Uh, i got to label the uh, side. Since it's going to be a, a rectangle, call that side X, and that would be X, and that would be Y, and that would be Y, because uh, they're going to be different. And what we have is the area, according to how I have it drawn, is X times Y. What's the largest we can make this? The big thing that you got to do is you, you have to get the function that you want to maximize in terms of one variable. So you have to see that in this sort of a situation, if you only have a certain amount of fence, if you pick x to be so big, it's going to force y to be something else. Hence, it's possible to write area as a function of just x by itself. How do you do that? Sometimes you have to hunt through this thing to find a different relationship in there. Uh, the relationship x and y are related by the, by the um, amount of fencing that you have. You know that 2x plus 2y must equal 100, the total number of feet, or x plus y equals 50. This is the uh, key here. All right? This is what we need to write the area as a function of one variable. Uh, this means that if x is something that's going to force y to be 50 minus x, you just isolate y, 50 minus x, and that makes the area function, when you plug that back in there, you have a of x by itself equals what was once x times y will be x times 50 minus x. And it comes down to maximizing this function. What is its maximal value? Uh, First question that you might ask is, what are the acceptable values of x? What are the largest and smallest values of x that make sense in the context of the problem? Well, if you just look at this, uh, it's kind of silly, but you could make x zero. Right? If x is equal to zero, then you use up all 100 feet on the height of the fence, and you just get this. Obviously, the area in, in that case is going to be zero. And the other extreme case, which is equally as ridiculous is making x equal to 50, right? Because if, if x is 50, then y is 0, and it's all length, and you wind up getting this. Obviously, the area of that is 0 as well, so they're not going to be the maximum. Um, but you have this function here. It's 0 at the endpoints, right? You want to maximize this on the interval 0 and 50, the only value, the extreme values that make sense. Um, a of 0 is 0, what you just said, and also A of 50 is 0. You can figure that out just by looking at the context of the uh, problem, or by plugging 0 and 50 into the area function. Uh, but so, it has to have a maximum value somewhere because of the extreme value theorem, so we, said, we know that the maximum and minimum must occur at either endpoints or critical numbers. We did the endpoints. So now we have to do critical numbers. Maximize this. So we need to, we want to maximize a of x equals if you distribute that out, you get 50x um, minus x squared. Maximize this on the interval 0 to 50. We did the endpoint, so we got to hunt for critical numbers. So a prime equals 50 minus 2x. And when you set that equal to 0, you get, you get the critical number of 25. So then you need to do, uh, in addition to a of 0 and a of 50, you need to do a of 25. a of 25, when you plug it back into the function, you get, um, well, when you had it back, it was x times uh, 50 minus x. So a of 25 is going to be 25 times 25, which is 625. And that's the maximum area that you can get. And notice that if you started out with 100 feet, if, if you make x equal to 25, what's that make y? You come back here, you said y had to be 50 minus x. So if x is 25, 
y is also 25, and you wind up with a square. So if you have 100 feet of fence, the maximum area that you can get occurs when you shape that into a, in, in, into a uh, square. Anything else, any one of these kinds of situations, the further that you deviate from it being a square, the, the more area that you're going to lose.